Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Bitch Tips and Tricks video. This video is the very overdue uh, vlogmas that I promised to do. I ended up working really hard at the start of December, working Christmas parties, so I was up until like 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning every night. And then I got really sick. I got laryngitis and I got a chest infection and then I barely recovered from that before we came to France. And then I got a cold, which you guys will probably hear in the video, which amalgamated on Christmas Eve into a very nasty flu type thing. So by the time this video finishes, I was sick and actually really didn't do Christmas. I went to bed at Val's grandma's. But over the month I actually filmed quite a lot so I decided instead of just kind of trashing it all I would just make a little, well a big, one big long vlogmas video more for me than anything else because I want to remember that there were some really good things about December and Christmas this year even though Christmas itself I ended up being sick so if you guys want to watch it that's cool I mean I did some cool stuff there's like photo shoots in there and I did a lot of cooking and you guys get to see a bit of what I get up to when I'm filming and editing behind the scenes so I hope you enjoy it but it is like a weird mishmash because there were big chunks where I was just sick as a dog in bed or I was at work and I couldn't film because it's like you know private and it's my job and I can't be doing that so anyway I hope you guys enjoy <laughs> Welcome to the first vlog or the first day of Vlogmas. I promised on my Instagram this week that I would start filming for Vlogmas. So here I am and it's like five o'clock at night, but I have been in my pajamas all day editing and generally just hiding from the cold. <laughs> so I have put some clothes on finally. I've got a leftover set from yesterday's videos so this is my leftover hair no makeup and i'm heading outside because tonight is sunday but it is my saturday night as my week falls because freelancing means that i never quite know what my weekend's going to be so today is my saturday night tomorrow is my sunday and then i start work and work right through to the following sunday so i'm gonna go and get some wine and some tasty vegan cheese because I want to, but it's freaking freezing outside. So I'm hoping my big warm jacket will suffice because I'm gonna freeze my tits off, guys. Mm. I've now got like the world's weirdest mishmash outfit fit on. I'm kind of feeling it though, I don't know. It's got like a weird combination of reds and maroons and stuff, but I'm kind of liking it. And I have my gloves because it is definitely glove weather. Wish me luck. I am quite excited because around the corner at Planet Organic, they now have Mouse's Favourite, which I bought last Christmas to take to France, but I got it delivered because I couldn't find it in store anywhere, and I, I saw fabulous recommendations online for it. And now it's literally around the corner from my house, so this year I won't have to pay exorbitant shipping fees. This is bomb. It's actually made like cheese is made. It's even um, moulded like a real cheese, so it's a blue cheese. Tasted like the real deal, so I highly recommend this. And it's just me drinking tonight because Val went out and partied last night. So I got a red. Val's not really that big on reds, but I love reds. I love big, spicy, tanniny reds because I'm from McLarenville, Australia, or near McLarenville, Australia. We have big wines there, and the lady at the wine shop suggested this. So I am intrigued to try this because apparently it's licorice and peppery and heavy on the tannins. So nom nom nom. This is my exciting Saturday night, the 1st of December. Tasty vegan cheese. I don't know if you guys can see, it's got like the blue bits on it. Mm -hmm. It's stinky, I'm excited. My glass of wine and I am editing my skincare video, which you guys requested on Instagram. And that's what I'm up to actually. I'm probably gonna have a rest from this and watch some YouTube, some other YouTubers because I feel like some downtime. morning so i am just making some breakfast and some coffee i have to upload a video so i didn't finish editing last night i ate cheese and drank wine and had soup for dinner because i was tired and i just didn't feel like it i did edit some i just didn't finish so this morning i have to add a voiceover and upload and make the uh thumbnail yes and i have like an hour to do that What? Look at the Brussels sprouts. 
cards. They've come on a stem. I've never seen them like that. So cool. We have a mix of different colored carrots and we have some celery and spring onion. So I'll just show you guys what my skin is like without makeup. I look utterly terrifying and you can hardly see anything because of the lighting, but I finished my second video of the day. It's been very fruitful, but I didn't show you guys because it seemed kind of pointless because all I did was edit. So I didn't film anything because it would have been really boring. But now I'm having a much needed bath. I have a hot chocolate and my beautiful scented candle going. I like to use soy candles because they are better for the environment and they last longer. And there's like some research that suggests that paraffin wax when it burns is really not very good for you. It's contested, but I'd rather just not, you know, try. I would rather just go for another option that's definitely not bad for me. <laughs> and I am watching Funnel Space. Just a bit of bubble gum viewing but always nice for a bit of a relax mm. I am so tired and I'm looking terrible my hair dried naturally and I recently cut a fringe to work with vintage style but it definitely does not look good unstyled I will say that much and I have a big zit <laughs> it's that time of the month guys so I'm off to bed, but before I go to bed, I'm going to have a piece of tart because I made a plum and apple tart and I think I'll have a cup of herbal tea and that will be the first day of Vlogmas done. It wasn't very interesting for you guys, but I spent almost the entire day doing YouTube editing, so there wasn't really much to show you, I'm afraid, but there'll be more happening this week. So I'm going to have a slice of this baby. She's so pretty. And a cup of herbal tea and hit the sack. I've got to be up super early for a full day uh, doing corporate hostessing tomorrow. So I need my beauty sleep. Good morning. It is half past seven, but it feels a lot earlier. <laughs> it's so dark. But I am up early because I have to go to work today working as a corporate hostess. So got to pay them bills. Yes, I'm just having my cup of coffee. And I literally have to leave in like 30 seconds. Uh, I won't film at my job today because it's not very professional to do that. Um, and it's a private corporate event, so I just can't. But I will see you guys at the end of the day. I am just walking to the shops because I don't have any bread. And I'm hungry, I've had coffee, so I'm not too bad. But yes, I've been very, very sick and I've been working. So there's really not been anything interesting to film for you guys. I'm sorry, I said I would do Vlogmas and then basically I haven't filmed anything for the whole of December. Um, but literally it was me in bed coughing, me in bed sleeping or on the couch sleeping and then me working at Christmas parties, which I couldn't film because it's like corporate, uh, corporate and private. So yes, sorry guys. But more exciting stuff is happening now. We're heading to France on Saturday, so that will be much more exciting and beautiful because it is lovely there and we've got some cool Christmas activities happening which I'll share with you guys. This is so bad guys I keep forgetting to film I'm shocking but I thought I would show you what I've been doing for the last couple of hours which is filming a video for Bone Crossbones who very kindly sent me some goodies and we are doing a giveaway so make sure you enter I'd say it's probably still going to be going when I put this up so um, go over to my Instagram and check out my post uh, you'll see like a bee themed bangle stack and earrings and make sure you enter on that post but a whole ton of goodies here from bow and crossbones like tons of bangles and like an entire box worth of earrings they're all packed beautifully but I've, i'm stacking them away and storing them ready to be photographed so that is the aftermath wearing a pair here they're so pretty like little atomic ones and there's like a diamante on this part and inside the little star and i'm wearing one of their bangles as well so pretty made myself and Val a giant pot of pumpkin and apple soup it has like cinnamon and fresh ginger in it and roasted garlic so I roasted the pumpkin and I pan fried the onion and the apple and added some stock and the roasted garlic and fresh ginger and then I just pureed it all 
and here is the result. Ommy nommy nom. Sorry, my shadow's getting in the way. So I'm excited to eat that. Um, olive hummus to go with it, which I got from a little, well, actually a big local supermarket that has like, it's like a giant kind of European slash Arabic supermarket around the corner that's open 24 hours. And things like hummus are like one pound, one pound 50, I think gets you like an enormous tub, like a big ice cream tub of hummus. And then for about a pound, they have like small tubs with different flavors, like roasted capsicum. This one is olive and lots of other ones. So, and they do tons of pickles of all sorts and preserves and <laughs> beans and dolmatis and they're amazing. I have my soup. You guys can't really see it without me pouring it out and my hummus bread. And I am re-watching Community because it's now on Amazon Prime. So that's very good news. I enjoy that. What kind of a person is to have to help other people and then helps himself? Yeah. Helps him good morning. <laughs> it is half past five in the morning, but I have to say I'm actually not feeling too bad for once. So I'm up really early because I'm shooting with House of Foxy today and their headquarters are just outside of Manchester. So I have a four and a bit hour train ride ahead of me and then I'll be shooting there. So I'll take you along and I'll show you what I can from behind the scenes. And things from here out will get a lot more interesting. As you saw with the previous clips, I've really struggled to film largely because it's like, I don't really know what to show you guys. Um, haven't like... Everything I've shot for Christmas wise has been online and a lot of the time I've been either working at Christmas parties, which I can't show you, or I've been at home working on YouTube and Instagram, which is just me sitting in a computer. So it's horribly boring for you guys, but it will get a lot more interesting from here on out. Saturday we go to France, so that will be a lot more fun and interesting, but come along with me today and see what I get up to on this shoot. Surely arriving into Doncaster. Together with you. Actually, it's nothing to do with the kids. I don't have a party. Is there anything else? Aftermath. This is what you look like the day after a photo shoot. And that's what you look like when you're Val. <laughs> See, photo shoots aren't always glamorous, guys. Hairspray and pink curls. Beautiful. So we have arrived here with Val's family. Val's coming now with presents to go under the Christmas tree. You guys can see it over there. There he goes. Today we have to go into Dijon to go do some last minute shopping and to buy things for me to eat because Christmas in France involves salmon and oysters and foie gras and escargot, snails and chicken stew and this many vegetables literally zero so i have to go and shop and make myself something to eat so that's what we're up to today and i will show you around the garden a little bit because it's so so pretty here the fresh air is amazing and that's my bread by the fire this year heating up even though the fire isn't on currently it will be later today but it's so nice to have a cozy fireplace got the christmas tree fell and his mum over in the kitchen she used some of the decorations, they're so cute. We didn't decorate the tree this year. Val's mum decorated it, but I love the gold grapes. Where's my favorite one? This one. Two peasants riding a goose, as you do. Traditional French goose riding. I don't actually think that's a thing, guys, so 
Don't let me misinform you about the French culture. And then I'll show you out the front because it is so pretty. This is their front yard. Like how gorgeous is that? They have a little pond. You might've seen this in some of my other videos because we're here quite a lot. And they have a real Christmas tree, look. It was one we had when I was young. Oh yeah? Did you decorate it? That, yeah. No. Aw, that would be fun. We should decorate it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we would need a ladder. And I was like 10, was that? I love this Santa. He's so jolly. He was waiting for us in the window last night. It was funny. We came home and there was someone. I thought it was the cat in the window and it was Santa. <laughs> Val lied to you. Lied to you all. Sorry. But that one, the big one. Very big oh, one. The very big one? Yeah. This is the one you're talking the about. The one we got in 1996. 96. 1996. That's cool. Yeah. So I was six. So this, if I can get her in shot, is Gomet. Gomet is a criminal mastermind. Last night, Val's family was having pork chops. And while they were eating the salad portion, because in France they eat it in two separate um, parts, he invited Gomet onto his lap multiple times and she didn't come because she wasn't interested in salad. Then when he had the pork chop, she jumped up and he was patting her. And she promptly leant over, grabbed the end of the pork chop, and pulled the entire thing off of his plate. It was hilarious. <laughs> and Val still has not forgiven her. <laughs> but I think she's sorry. Look, she's now sitting at the scene of her crime. It was right here. Today I'm preparing for Christmas Eve. I'm gonna cook like the equivalent to what Val's family will eat, so. As I said before, it's all very much based around meat, so I'm trying to do vegan versions of those. Right now, I'm trying to create something that is a little bit like foie gras, but the vegan version. You can buy it, I've bought it in Paris before, but I haven't found it here in Dijon, so I'm going to try and make my own. So I've started with Plurot, uh, which is oyster mushrooms, and uh, I've got tofu, and I'm putting artichoke hearts in it, but just the base, this is just a can of base. It's got garlic powder. I have, it's not um, nutritional yeast, but it is close to. So it's something very similar to try and get the flavor. Miso paste in here. There's an escargot in the back. Don't worry guys, I'm not eating it. Fresh garlic. There's going to be coconut oil. Almond yak is in there. And I don't know, at the moment I'm experimenting. We shall see. Basically creating it out of a recipe I have to make cheddar cheese, but I've made it before and a few people said to me that they thought it tasted a bit like foie gras. So I'm sort of basing it on that recipe and then I'm mixing that with a mushroom pate recipe and then I've looked at a foie gras recipe to see what the main ingredients are, but it's mostly liver and then it has white pepper and armagnac in it. So obviously I added white pepper and armagnac because that's going to be like a main part of the flavor and then the creaminess that you get from the main ingredient of foie gras you're going to get from the mushrooms and the artichokes and the tofu so fingers crossed i get something that tastes good at least <laughs> the final result is all wrapped up in this little terrain and i'm going to put it in the fridge overnight to set so i've got one two and just like a half size one up here so we'll see how it tastes. I'm gonna try the little one later tonight to see how it turns out. I am just getting ready to go to the basketball. Excuse the washing behind me. <laughs> Everyone's clothes on it and my underwear. So there you go, oh, exciting. This is outfit of the evening. My Vivian of Holloway Catherine trousers, Freddy's of Pinewood shirt jacket, another Freddy's of Pinewood top. My earring and bangle set is from Bow and Crossbones, so yeah, more reproduction tonight, but stuff that I've had for ages apart from the earring and bangle set. And I just did a quick hairstyle. I actually didn't set my hair, so this is just a lot of hairspray and then just kind of smooshing things into shapes. The magic of this hairspray, guys, I've been able to do a lot of styles um, without actually having set my hair because once the hairspray is on, I then use it to like mold the shape and then spray it in place. So I would highly recommend for lazy days because you can create things you wouldn't otherwise be able to do. Love, love, love. So I'm going to put a scarf and my jacket and my beret on. I'm not really sure how I'm going to wear a beret with this hairstyle, so maybe I'm not going to wear a beret. And head off. <laughs> Bye.
behind me is a grand mess because I am cooking my Christmas meal. I haven't made myself look pretty for Christmas yet. I'm showered, but I don't look that great right now. <laughs> but I'm not gonna bother looking pretty while I cook because I'm just gonna get all hot and sweaty in the kitchen. So I have made the stuffing for the mini sausage rolls. Um, I follow the recipe from the Happy Pear, but I actually mix the two recipes together and I add some of my own ingredients, like I put in nutritional yeast and liquid smoke to just add a bit of extra meatiness to it. And I don't use the cashews because that's going in my green bean casserole and it's just like, I don't want everything to kind of have the same flavor. So I just use chestnuts, but I do mix the two recipes together. But I'll leave their recipe below um, and then maybe right underneath the additions that I make to it I find that's really really tasty and every single year I make this I've made this all three or maybe no four this is the fourth year I'll be making it and every year everyone eats them and tells me they taste really good so vegan win so it's a mixture of marron or châtaigne which is chestnuts but they're like bottled ones so they're soft chestnuts cranberries um, shallots garlic oyster mushrooms and what else do I put in? Tamari, salt, white pepper, thyme, and a nutritional yeast and liquid smoke to make it taste yummy. I can highly recommend this. Tastes really delicious. And then I wrap it in gluten-free pastry and cook it like you would a sausage roll. That's my um, faux gras that I made yesterday. I'm gonna try a little bit of that today, see how it went, but it is nice and firm like foie gras, so it should slice very nicely. I'm gonna be making some roasted vegetables. So in here we have obviously button up pumpkin. I've got celeriac, like the celery root, and I'm gonna be doing potatoes, which are just soaking at the moment, because I heard soaking them gets the starch out and makes them much crispier when you put them in the oven. And I'm just gonna do them with a mix of dried herbs some cranberries, some chestnuts, and uh, olive oil. Just pop it in the oven, that will be tasty. And at the moment over here, I am making a green bean casserole, and I mix together Sarah's Kitchen and Hot the Hot Food recipe. I find the two together make a really delicious recipe. I literally just kind of bring the two up and then put basically all the ingredients in together and make a combination. Because I did that the first year and it turned out well and I don't wanna change the recipe when I know it works so that's what I'm doing over here. I'm quite excited because usually Val's family has pan de pice which is like a type of gingerbread it's almost like a fruit cake but it's all ginger it's a very very soft cake like almost a cross between a sponge cake and a brownie and it's made with normally with honey chestnut flour with normal flour as well and lots of spices, like lots of, um, they're just panda pieces, but it's like mixed spice, so like cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, like tons and tons of spices. And it's very, very dark. I think it has molasses in as well, so it's a very dark sort of bread cake, and they have the foie gras with that. And we're gonna try and make a gluten-free vegan version of it. So Val's mum is currently at the shops trying to buy that. She'll make a normal version for them, and then Val, who used to be a baker, is gonna try and make the gluten-free vegan version for me. So I'm very, very excited to try that. It'll be my first year eating a foie gras with a panda piece, just like the family does. So fingers crossed that it works. My sausage rolls got ruined. The pastry that we bought was like a home brand pastry because it was the only one we could find, and we don't usually use that for gluten-free pastry and it was solid as a rock and it tasted really disgusting. So sausage rolls ruined, but Val very kindly scraped all the insides of them out for me. So I'll be having stuffing instead of sausage rolls. <laughs> but it still tastes really good. It's just sad because I'm not having mini Wellingtons. But now I'm burning stuff. Now I'm making some gravy to go with my vegetables, which are roasting and Val is cleaning the kitchen. Like a nice man. And soon we'll be ready to go, hence why I have my hair in pink curls at the moment. So it won't be long until we're having Christmas dinner. We are on our way to... Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Solieu. So Val's grandma hosts Christmas every year, and so we're heading there to Solieu, which is a little town, another little town that's about two hours drive away. Two hours, an hour and a half? One hour? Apparently I have no idea what I'm talking about tonight. <laughs> so that's where we're headed and we're now going to go and pick up Val's brother. So yes. And Dijon's looking very pretty. You guys probably couldn't see properly but the um, lights were twinkly snowflake lights and there was a pretty Christmas tree. It was very lovely.
So that's the video guys. Uh, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I know it was a long one, but as I say, it was more kind of self-indulgent than anything, but you know, if you guys got something out of it, that's great. If you did like it as usual, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click that little notification bell so you know when my videos come out. Come and follow me on my Instagram. Join us in the Vintage Tips Tricks Facebook group. We would love to have you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.